In the early 1800s, on the cusp of Minnesota's transformation, a man of African-American and indigenous American heritage stands at the crossroads of emerging worlds. His name is George Bonga, a fur trader, a linguist, a bridge between cultures. Today, we'll trace his steps through the wilds of Minnesota, from guiding traders through uncharted lands to advocating for the Ojibwe in halls of power. But who was this George Bunga truly? And how did his unique journey shape the history of a state and its people? Join us as we unfold the story of a man who lived between worlds, a story of resilience, identity, and the enduring power of legacy. Stay with us as we delve into the incredible life of George Bunga. Hey, I'm Jack. And I'm Kitty. And we're Jack, Jack and, and Kitty. Kitty. And this is Travel with Jack and Kitty, where we highlight the best of the Midwest. We explore life in the heartland of America with plenty of laughs, oofdas, and feel goods along the way. So join us as we give you a little slice of Minnesota nice on today's episode of Travel with Jack and Kitty. Are you heading for a vacation to the heartland and is the Midwest on your travel bucket list? Are you a local just looking for fun things to do with the fam? Well, hold on to your lutefisk and get ready to eat some hot dish as we say you betcha to what makes the Midwest the best in our series of guidebooks. Look for Iowa's best, Minnesota's best, and Wisconsin's best. Each of these guidebooks feature 365 unique adventures. We take you deep into the heart of the Midwest, revealing hidden treasures and extraordinary wonders. Available now as paperbacks and ebooks on Amazon or wherever books are sold. Visit jackandkitty.com backslash guidebooks for more info. Imagine traveling the world and earning cash when you book flights, hotels, or excursions. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, our friends at Wayaway Plus can make that dream come true. It's a membership plan with unbeatable cashback rewards for travelers. Say a member books a hotel and round-trip flight for a weekend through Wayaway Plus. You pay for the hotel and for the flight, but after enjoying your trip, you get up to 10% cash back straight to your PayPal account. That means the membership plan can literally pay for itself even on the first trip. Cool, right? And to make the entire travel experience seamless, Wayaway Plus offers 24-7 support to answer all of your travel-related questions. Listeners of our show get 10% off their first Wayaway Plus membership purchase using promo code Jack and Kitty. Visit wayaway.io and click the Go To Plus button or crown icon on the top of the page. Or just search for Wayaway Plus. Again, the promo code you want to use is Jack and Kitty. Of course, there's a link in the show notes. Speaking of which, let's get on with the show. And we're back. Say, Kitty, I am excited about today's show. Me too. You know, George Bunga was one of the first black people born in the area known as Minnesota long before it became a state. He was a fur trader and so much more, and I am a big fan. Mm, well, fur trader, eh? That mm. reminds me. Yes. <laughs> what does a fur trader listen to on Spotify? I don't know. What does a fur trader listen to on Spotify? Trap music. <laughs> You like that one? I really like the thought of George Bonga and the, and the fam, you know, rocking out to, oh, I don't Gucci, know. Gucci, Gucci Mane or oh, Little Baby or something. Gucci! <laughs> okay, we're getting way <laughs> off course here, guys. Like I said, George Bonga is a fascinating character in American history. He is known as one of the first black people born in the future state of Minnesota, but he actually had a heritage that was both African American and indigenous American, his mother being Ojibwe. He lived during a time of great change, and his life story is a journey through this transformative era. George's deep connections to the Ojibwe community through his family and marriages position him uniquely at the intersection of indigenous American communities and European trading companies. He was a fur trader, a guide, and a translator, skills that made him an invaluable link between these diverse groups. Notably, Bonga's ability to speak multiple languages and his cultural understanding made him a vital advocate and a mediator. He often represented the Ojibwe in their dealings with trading companies and the U.S. government, highlighting his commitment to fair and respectful interactions. George's early years were shaped by his father Pierre, a fur trader, and his schooling in Montreal where he became fluent in English, French, and Ojibwe. Returning to the Great Lakes, he joined the American Fur Company and caught the attention of Louis Cass, for whom he worked as a guide and translator, even signing treaties in 1820 and 1867. A key incident in his life occurred in 1837, when he pursued and apprehended an Ojibwe man accused of murder. This event shows the complexity of George's position in his community, balancing his roles and identities. Later, as the fur trade declined, George married an Ojibwe gal. 
He and his wife opened a lodge on Leech Lake. This place became a center for sharing stories and songs about early Minnesota. As times changed, so did George, shifting from fur trading to overseeing annuity payments to the Ojibwe and eventually retiring as a dry goods merchant. George Bonga's death in 1874 at Leech Lake marked the end of an era. His legacy, however, lives on, notably in the naming of Bungo Township in Cass County, a tribute to his and his family's impact on Minnesota. George Bonga's life story is more than history. It's a source of inspiration. It teaches us about the power of adaptability, the importance of embracing our diverse backgrounds, and the impact we can have in fostering understanding between different cultures. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the life of George Bonga, a man who navigated the complex waters of cultural identity with grace and strength, and whose story continues to inspire. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's trip back in time to Cass County here in Minnesota, where we explored the life of George Bonga. But hey, before we go, if you liked listening to today's show, you might get a kick out of our sister podcast. It's called Jack and Kitty's Feel Good Stories. Now, episodes are about 10 minutes long, and we love sharing heartwarming stories written by Kitty. If you're looking for some inspiration or motivation, happy and cheerful tales, maybe even a chuckle or two, you'll definitely want to check out that show. Listen to new episodes of this funny and lighthearted scripted fiction podcast every weekday. Just search Jack and Kitty's Feel Good Stories on your favorite podcast app or visit jackandkitty.com for more info. And as a special thank you for listening to this show today, we've prepared a secret page on our website just for you. Visit jackandkitty.com backslash free to download helpful travel guides, We even have maps to plan your next Midwestern adventure, printables. Kitty, there's so much over there. Even MP3 audios and the best part. All of these goodies are totally free for you. It's just our way of thanking you for listening today. Again, that's jackandkitty.com backslash free. And if you would like to talk with other fur traders about today's show. (laughs) Or listening to trap music. (laughs) Yeah, talk to either fur traders or trap music fans. (laughs) Is it our facebook group right kitty yes <laughs> chat share your thoughts just search for midwest travel with jack and kitty all of these links can be found in the show notes along with a blog article with more info about today's episode find that on our website finally a big thank you to all the trap fans and fur traders over on our patreon <laughs> we appreciate your support so much and now i have to say my catchphrase on behalf of my better half have a super day thanks guys <laughs> <laughs>